Hello everyone in YouTube land. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Guys, this is part three of a little series I'm doing of ask Mikey some questions and get to know him. Well, the questions are coming from online. So uh, I pulled up a little Google page, 100 questions to ask someone to get to know them, whatever, and this is kind of the little series I'm doing. This is part three. Uh, it's going to be questions 51 through 75. So let's get started. Uh, I haven't looked at them. I don't know anything about them. I'm just doing this as I go. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Ooh. Well, that's a booger. Who really cares about intelligence when you look good? Uh, I've always wanted to be like super sexy, good looking hunk kind of a guy. So what the heck, I'm fixing to be 48. Uh, let's go for the looks. Why not? Maybe my wife would look at me and just fall more in love with me. Never know. How often do you buy clothes? Not very often. And if I do, they're really cheap. They'll be from Walmart or wherever. I don't care. I've bought clothes from Goodwill and Salvation Army. I don't even care. Uh, have you ever had a secret admirer? Probably. Uh, what's your favorite holiday? Hmm. Well, I consider the holiday time to be uh, from Halloween until New Year's Day. So to me, that's all one big season, uh, and, and I love it all. Uh, for all the different reasons you can imagine, uh, I love uh, eating, and I love gifts, and I love Halloween, and I love all this stuff. So uh, just that whole uh, period right there is what I love. Plus the weather's cool, and it, it's, it's my favorite. What is the most daring thing you've ever done? The most daring thing I've ever done... Well, I mean, there's a personal thing, maybe when I was younger, that I won't get into. Uh, but some of the dumbest thing I've ever done was uh, shoplift uh, when I was a kid. I, uh, I regret to say that I've broken into a house when I was a kid. Uh, so... Yeah, that's probably the most stupid daring thing. What was the last thing you recorded on TV? I have not recorded anything from TV since the 80s. <laughs> so I have no idea. What was the last book you read? And if you know me, I don't read books. If you've listened to the other videos in this series, I don't read. But uh, I do read to my step-granddaughter. And we have little books that we read. And so we read them every day. And every day that she's here. Uh, what's your favorite type of foreign food? Boy, that's between Asian and Mexican. Ooh, that's a tough one there, boy. Mm, 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 mm. I, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> can't I can't I can't choose between those. Are you a clean or messy person? I'm pretty clean. I don't like a lot of mess around. I always pick up my own stuff. Uh, I don't like clutter. Uh, I, I like a nice, just blank house nearly. <laughs> I don't like a lot of stuff around. Um, who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? What? Really? Huh. Who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? Well, probably my oldest kid, Jared, since he's a lot like me. So, we'll just go with that answer because it would be... It'd be like watching me, for the most part. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, about 10 seconds. I throw on the same stuff every day. I wear the same clothes every week. Um, a t-shirt and stretchy pant. Stretchy pants? Kind of guy. Um, what kitchen appliance do you use every day? Microwave. Or stove. 
if that's an appliance. I guess that's an appliance. What's your favorite fast food chain? Hmm. Well, that's a. You know, you've had to. You need to eat at every fast food chain in the world to be able to answer this question. But I'm gonna go out on the old quick limb and just. I'm gonna throw out there. I'll say Wendy's. Because I love their cheeseburgers, I love their taco salads, I love their chili. Good stuff. So, what's your favorite family recipe? My favorite family recipe is my mom's potato salad, which she showed my wife how to make uh, quite a while before my mom died in 2016. Luckily, my wife knows how to make it. Tastes just like it. So, that's my favorite. Do you love or hate roller coasters? Uh, I don't love nor hate roller coasters. Um, I will get on a roller coaster as long as I feel like it's something I can handle. Uh, and I would, I'd really only do it for my wife, probably. <laughs> What's your favorite family tradition? Getting together for the holidays. Of course, that's that's an easy one. What is your favorite childhood memory? Just man, there's just so many from break dancing with my friends to riding BMX with my friends to going to the roller uh, roller skating with my friends, which is also where we break dance and stuff. Uh, staying with my grandma on the week, you know, during the weekends and a lot of times during the summers. Uh, just uh, countless. There's too many childhood memories for me to even go into. Uh, it's very near and dear to my heart. I get choked up whenever I think all the stuff. And uh, yeah, I had the most perfect childhood uh, anyone could ever hope for. Just absolutely brilliant for me. Maybe not for anyone else. But uh, uh, it's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> um. What's your favorite movie? Boy, you can't even you can't even answer that really. That's just tough. You have Indiana Jones, you have Star Wars, you have Halloween and Friday the 13th and Goonies and uh, Full Metal Jacket and you have Top Gun and you have Willow and Gremlins and you have Ghostbusters and you have Back to the Future and you have just uh, so many movies of uh, from back then, from the 80s, that trump everything else. But then you have stuff like, you know, Jurassic Park and the Mission Impossible movies and John Wick movies and Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies and, and just different uh, movies like that. Man, it's so hard to say. Uh, the Blair Witch Project, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, my favorite movie, man, that's just tough. I, I can't, I don't even want to say it. It's like your favorite musician. Of course, everybody wants, everybody expects me to say Michael Jackson, but it's tough. How old were you when you learned Santa Claus wasn't real? How did you find out? Well, I mean, I guess I kind of figured he wasn't real somewhere around the age of 12, 10, 12, I was kind of old, I guess, because I was in my own fantasy world, you know, I was, I was babied, you know, I'm the baby of the five kids, so I was babied a lot, and, and even though I knew that my mom and my grandma were buying stuff at the same time, you never know, you know, it's like, ooh, I mean, is, could this really be something, and I truly believe that there is something, you know, the spirit of Christmas lives on, and and Santa Claus, and is a real person, we all know that, and so, you know, I'm going to say probably 10, 12, something like that, don't laugh, uh, is your glass half full or half empty? Well, I mean, if you want to look at things realistically, let's go ahead and say half empty. Uh, I try to be positive, but let's face it, you know, a lot of times you're kicked right in the crotch whenever you think something's going to be one way, and it ends up being another. 
let's just go ahead and say half empty. What's the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? Well, the craziest thing I've ever done in the name of love, I've only been in love really with one person. That's my wife that I've been with since I was 20. Uh, craziest thing I've done in the name of love, I guess, is maybe give myself to her. Uh, you know, she's the first person I've ever been with in any kind of way. Uh, so maybe that, or maybe when we had our problems that we went through chasing her around town everywhere in the world you know don't really care to get into that too much so I don't know that's a tough one what's three items you would take with you on a deserted island well the deserted island doesn't have electricity so really is there any sense in taking your cell phone or cameras or laptops or TVs or any of that no uh, the three things would be a uh, never-ending supply of food, a never-ending supply of fresh water, and uh, some shelter, I guess. Or maybe my blood pressure, cholesterol, and gout medication. I don't know. What was your favorite subject in school? Duh. P.E. Lunch. Free time. Um, I was no good in school. Uh, I tried my best to get through school. I was literally going to turn 21 years old in my second year in 12th grade that I started back in 1992. And I finally quit. Uh, I just was really bad in school. Just I tried, but I didn't try. And I wanted to keep going. And I wanted to get through it. But, ugh, man, it was rough. My favorite subject in reality... art class, photography, whatever I took in high school, something like that, even though I sucked at that because I was too lazy to try, but those are two things I love. <laughs> so, what's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten? Mm, I haven't had anything really weird. I mean, I'll eat a, a oyster or a clam or whatever they're called. Um, I've never ate like eyeballs and testicles and guts and weird crap and brains and liver. I, I don't do that stuff. Uh, the most unusual thing I've ever eaten? I don't know. I mean, it would maybe be deer, <laughs> which is not unusual for most people. I think I've had rabbit or something like I don't even know if I had, I don't know if it was rabbit or lamb. I don't remember. Uh, I haven't really ate anything really unusual, I don't guess. And do you collect anything? I slightly collect uh, some video game stuff. I have a small collection. Just really those main nostalgic kind of games that, that always come across my mind. Um, I do have the... I do have a, a couple of consoles. I have all the mini consoles. Uh, the PS1 Mini. Uh, the SNES Mini. The NES Mini. Uh, I have my original Xbox from 2001 when it came out. I have uh, PlayStation 2. Old, you know, the big PlayStation 2. Got rid of my original one like an idiot. Um, got a few knickknacks in the closet of some stuff. You know, but I don't do a ton of collecting because, like I mentioned earlier, I like clean. So, yeah. Well, guys, that was questions 51 through 75. That's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed this little series. You get to know me a little bit. Comment below so I get to know you a little bit. Ask me questions. Uh, hey, like, share, subscribe. Um, comment, all that good stuff. I do all this for free. No monetization, no ads. And everyone, be ready for part four. We're going to go from question 76 to 100. Be on the lookout for that. And don't forget to get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And have a good time doing it, guys. We'll see you.